Hi, folks. Welcome to Crisco's Corner. Hi, folks. Welcome back. And those of you that are new, welcome. Uh, please check your subscription status. Uh, I've been getting messages that people have been getting unsubscribed, so please check that. and Check that all button when you do. I am so sick and tired of these people lying right to your face. And that's the name you see on the thumbnail picture here. Just lie right to your face. And I used to think that they knew. They knew it was total bull. But they said it anyway because it was part of politics. Now I believe these brainwashed cult members, city urban liberal types, cult, actually believe this nonsense. It's insane. Let's listen to a couple of clips from our press secretary from the White House, Corinne Jean-Pierre, even though she's got a great name. She sucks. She is so bad, she lies right to your face. He has tools that he's used to, to make sure that we do this. We actually deal with the immigration system in a humane way. Uh, and in a, in a way that is uh, uh, that actually deals with what we're seeing at the border. And that's why you've seen the parolee program be so successful. Uh, it has, it has, um, it has uh, uh, when it comes to illegal migration, you've seen it come down uh, by more than 90 percent. And that's because of this act, the actions that this president has taken. You got to be kidding me. You have to be kidding me. Down by 90 percent. So what we'll just do, we'll just change the definition of an illegal migrant and put them in the parolee program. That way they're down 90%. We'll just change the definitions. These people are nuts. Absolutely insane. And I, they believe this. Total bull. I am so sick to death of it. It reminds me of a, a quote in a movie called The Verdict with Paul Newman. Great movie, by the way. He should have got the kid to be awarded. He got robbed. And at the end, he's a lawyer talking to a jury on an injury case, a medical injury case. And part of what he says is, we get so tired of hearing people lie that we just become dead inside. One of the greatest lines ever written in a movie, and it's true. It's true. These people suck this bad. Well, those who are out there saying, well, Trump lies all the time. What about what, crowd size? Stuff that nobody cares about, just a braggart? We're t they're lying about things that are affecting millions of people and costing lives. How many people have been injured severely, assaulted, sexually assaulted, or murdered from illegals? They shouldn't be here. The rule is this. It should be. If you're caught here unlawfully, you cannot ask to come back in and go through the process of being a citizen for five years. If you're caught twice, you cannot apply for citizenship for 10 years. And if you're caught the third time, you are barred from citizenship for life. It's only fair. That the hundreds and thousands every single year that apply through the legal process, it is expensive and time consuming. I get it. But this citizenship is one of the premier citizenships in the world. How do I know that's true? Because millions are trying to get here. They see the United States as the greatest country on earth. Unfortunately, American, many Americans don't, but the rest of the world does. Uh, let's, let's listen on to this insanity. Look, as you just said, kids have lost so much in the pandemic. This is why when the president walked in, he made that he made a priority uh, to open schools. They did everything in their power to close schools during the pandemic. Everything. When Biden was a candidate for president, all he did was rag Trump about trying to keep schools open. Now, the federal government has no authority to close schools. That's true. But they pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed it. Here's the deal. You don't get to start a house on fire and then get credit for putting it out. An arsonist does not get credit for putting a fire out. That's exactly what they did. I am so tired of hearing these people lie. 
that their main concern was children in schools. That's a lie. Can't go into the details, of course, because this website won't allow it, but it's a lie. They knew the harm they were doing, and they did it anyway. Even after the fact, they did it anyway. It's just amazing to me how they can sit here and lie right to your face. And I believe in this one, she's talking to Peter Ducey from Fox News. Right to your face. Let's listen to the rest. Uh, one of the things that was important to do to make sure that the, our kids who have lost so much were able to go back in person school if they choose, have the resources that they needed uh, that to, to really succeed and move forward uh, in their education. And we saw that unfortunately, the pandemic had a, uh, a unfortunate effect on our young on our young people, on our kids. And there you have it. Looking out for the kids. Kids go back to school if they choose. Well, many aren't. Many parents are wising up and they're homeschooling their kids doing what they call pods or one family in a neighborhood or a small community where four or five, six kids will go there for school. It's homeschooling, but not individual. They call it a pod and it's getting more and more popular. It's amazing to me. They can look right at you and say, we caused this. We caused harm, but yet we're going to fix it. And look at us. We're so virtuous. These people suck. When I saw these clips, it just got under my skin. Usually I don't talk this forcefully, but this is nuts. You can name a subject. Immigration. Uh, withdrawal uh, from military forces. Things that are going on in Sudan. Uh, we had two. Two oil freighters under U.S. protection stopped and seized by Iran. The list goes on and on. Ukraine, Afghanistan, the border crisis, inflation. Well, inflation is down from the previous year, and it's only 3%. Oh, okay. And it's compounded from the inflation you already caused. The banking industry has, has never been in better shape than it is now. This is Biden's Treasury Secretary. But yet banks are failing. The second biggest bank failure in the history of the country just happened. This is insane. And look you right in the eye and lie and lie and lie. Just like the quote from the movie The Verdict. You hear so many people lie, you become dead inside. And that's what's happened. I'm sorry for the rant. But these two clips just got under my skin. And I am a Trump supporter for those people out there that are wondering. Yeah, he exaggerates and lies too, but not about anything important. We're talking about the lives, literally the lives, and the livelihood of millions of Americans. So what they do is they'll change the definition of something and say, look, look how great we are. These people suck. They have no business being in this kind of power and authority. And we gave it to them. When I say we, I mean the American people. When are you going to wise up? Do not vote for a Democrat for at least 10 years. Minimum. Let the party re reorganize itself from the lunacy that it's become. Don't vote for everything between dog catcher all the way through the president of the United States and everything in between. Never vote for a Democrat for 10 years. That's the only way you're going to clean these people out of the Democrat Party and we can get back and trying to do the right thing for the country instead of lie right to your face. Until the next time, goodbye and good luck.